Listen, y'all, I am so basic. So, so basic with my hair. Um, Y'all would be mad at me at how basic I really am. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Randy. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, from the title of the video, you guys probably already know what we're going to be talking about. Well, what I'm going to be talking about today, um, it's like the number one question people ask me across all my social medias. Well, probably the number two. <laughs> but the number one question got people ask me all the time. Um, we're just going to get it out right now. I'm just going to let you guys know is people always ask me. Am I mixed? Um, are both of my parents black? Both of my parents are black. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that. Just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way because I don't know why people always ask me that. Um, when they see my hair, they just like to ask me that question. So I'm gonna let you guys know both of my parents are black. But anyway, so you guys always ask me, how do I retain length? Um, with my natural hair. So um, I figure why not just film it and let you guys know what works for me, what works for my hair. Um, if you guys do not know, I did just go, obviously get my hair straightened. I do a yearly length check every April. I did vlog that experience. So I'll go ahead and link it in the description box so you guys can see and um, meet my stylist. The lady, this lady actually did my big shop and I've been going to her once a year Every year since then, I think it's been about five or six years to trim my ends really, really good and do my blowout. So if you guys didn't watch that vlog, you guys can see how long my hair is now. I did just um, tap waist length this year. So just want to let you guys know how I retain my length. First things first, I always detangle my hair on soaking wet hair with a conditioner or product that has really, really good slip. Um, you never want to detangle your hair when it's dry or partially dry because that is just a natural recipe for disaster. You're going to be tugging and pulling at your strands. Um, the comb or brush will not just glide straight through. So you're just going to be creating all types of knots and pulling out your hair. And then you always want to make sure you detangle your hair from ends to roots, guys. Ends to roots. It's going to make your time, efforts, everything a lot more easier if you go from ends to roots, okay? Always make sure that you take care of your ends. I mean, your ends are the oldest parts of your hair. So you want to make sure that your ends are moisturized and you clip them regularly. So, like I said, I go to my stylist to give me a really, really good trim once a year, but throughout the rest of the, the, the year, I trim and dust my ends myself. If I feel I'm getting a lot of single strand knots or my wash and goes or whatever, twist outs aren't just popping like I know that they should, um, a lot of frizz or whatever is in my hair, then I know it's time for me to have my ends trimmed. So I just go ahead and lightly Trim my ends myself. If you're not comfortable with doing that, um, you can go to someone that you feel comfortable with trimming your ends, but your ends definitely need to be trimmed and taken care of because breakage, if you have a lot of split ends, they're causing breakage, and then it's just going, the breakage is going up your strands, causing even more breakage. So make sure you take care of your ends, guys. Another thing, you cannot think that you're gonna retain length if your hair regimen is trash, <laughs> like honestly, like you, if your regimen is trash, you're not being consistent, then your hair is, it doesn't know what to do because um, you're not taking care of it. So what I do is um, I do make sure I decondition my hair regularly. Um, I decondition my hair once a week because I wash my hair once a week. Um, Deconditioning, retaining moisture in your hair, which ties me into the next point. Retain moisture in your hair. If your hair is dry, it's brittle, it's breaking off. Um, you can retain moisture in your hair without over manipulating your hair. So when I say over manipulating, I mean like uh, doing a bunch of different styles, twisting your hair up every night, 
detangling it every day, just having your hands constantly in your hair causes breakage as well. So you can keep your hair moisturized without over manipulating your hair, like styles that last long, like wash and goes. Um, you can have five or six day wash and goes, guys, they do exist. Um, twist outs also can help with not over manipulating your hair. Um, any styles that you know that work for your hair that you won't be constantly having your hands in your hair, manipulating it. Because also when your hands are constantly in your hair, you're taking the moisture out of your hair. Another thing that I do is um, I clarify my hair. Clarify means um, I do go in with the clarifying shampoo. I wanna say like once or twice a month, depending on how I feel my buildup is in my hair, this is what works for me guys. But um, I am a natural that shampoos my hair. I don't just co-wash my hair like that. I tried it before. It doesn't work for me. I have to shampoo my hair for my hair to work and be at its best. Now, I do use shampoos that don't have uh, any sulfates, you know, and all of that. I also use shampoos that do have sulfates. I mean, what? It works for me. So I don't use the shampoos that have the sulfates all the time. It works for me. I have low porosity hair, so I do get a lot of buildup sometimes. So shampooing just works better for me than just co-washing my hair. Another thing is protective styles. So you don't just have to do protective styles to grow your hair. I do protective styles because as you guys know, or if you don't know, I have two daughters very close in age. Um, I have a two year old. You probably hear one of them now. I have a two year old and a 15 month old. So sometimes protective styles just work for me because sometimes I honestly just don't have the time to do my hair the way that I want to. So protective styles for me um, are mini twists. Um, I did my own mini twist for when I went in labor with one of my daughters, lasted me the whole labor and I think like two or three weeks afterwards. Um, mini twists, I do big chunky twists, big chunky braids, any type of protective style where I am still having access to my scalp. Because even when you do protective styles, guys, you still need to have access to your scalp because you still need to take care of your scalp. You still need to cleanse your scalp. You still need to oil scalp or, you know, whatever. I have dry, flaky scalp, itchy. It's just terrible. My hair has always been like that. But I have um, figured out ways to take care of my scalp. So any protective style that you're doing, you always want to make sure that you still have access to your scalp to take care of your hair. But you don't just have to use protective styles. You can grow your hair and retain length with doing twist outs and wash and goes. Once you perfect your twist outs and wash and goes and you're able to retain your moisture and everything, you can use wash and goes to retain your length. I mean, it is possible, you guys. Look, guys, oil sometimes just doesn't do it for me and my scalp. I will use Jamaican black castor oil on my scalp because that works. But sometimes I just got to get up in that thing with some grease, y'all. Like y'all see, if you haven't seen my videos on um, how I use grease on my natural hair, I will also link those videos in the description box. Um, I'm a natural that use grease. Grease works for me. Um, I <laughs> If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I love me some grease, y'all. So if you're not a natural that uses grease, um, anything, any oil or whatever you do use to take care of your scalp, definitely still take care of your scalp when you're wearing your protective styles. Even though my hair is straightened right now, I still take care of my scalp every night. Um, now since I don't really want the heaviness of the grease, I am using an oil and my scalp is still doing fine. Um... But yeah, taking care of your scalp is definitely the base roof of also taking care of your hair. And then another thing, you can't honestly believe that if you're not sleeping on a satin or silk pillowcase using a bonnet or something like that, um, sleeping on cotton pillowcases 
It's doing nothing but taking the moisture out of your hair and it's also causing breakage and damage to your hair. Us curly girls definitely need to use um, bonnets or satin or silk pillowcases to protect our strands, protect our curls, um, retain the moisture in our hair. It's the only thing that will protect your hair at night. I have um, bonnets. I have silk line or satin line caps. Um, and I also have a satin pillowcase. It just depends on what style that I have in my hair to determine which way I'm going to wrap my hair at night. But regardless to the fact of whatever I use, they are all satin lined or something of that nature. But yeah, guys, that's basically what I do to retain my lip. I am, listen, y'all, I am so basic. So, so basic with my hair. Um, Y'all would be mad at me at how basic I really am. I've noticed that with my hair, the less, the better for me. Um, I don't overcomplicate my routine. I keep everything as simple as possible because my hair just responds well to simplicity. Being basic and simple with my routine, guys, has actually helped me in growing my hair because my hair just loves simplicity. I listen to my hair. Um, I pay attention to what it likes, what it doesn't like, um, what it responds well to, products, everything, um, conditioners, all those types of things. And the best thing that you can do is listen to your hair. I do try new things and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at the end of the day, I keep everything simple and that's just that. But if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and definitely, most definitely hit that subscribe button, you guys. And also follow me over on my Instagram page, which is naturally underscore fearless. I do post on there a lot. So make sure you guys go over there and follow me. Become a part of the fan bam, y'all. Um, we, it's all love over here. We have fun. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you later, guys.